player. So, what is Nimbus software? So, Nimbus is a powerful toolkit focused on converting a computer cluster into an infrastructure as a service cloud for scientific communities and essential it allows a deployment and configuration of virtual machine on remote resources to create an environment suitable for the user requirement. So this software is written in Python and Java language. So it is totally free and open source software released under the Apache license. So in another way you can say that Nimbus is a powerful toolkit kit focused on converting a computer cluster into an infrastructure as a service cloud for scientific communities. And Nimbus software is toolkit that once installed on a cluster provides an infrastructure as a service cloud to its client via WSRF based or Amazon EC2 WSDL wave services API. So Nimbus is a free and open source software subject to the requirement of the Apache license version 2. So you can say that Nimbus is a set of robust tool providing storage cloud services and infrastructure as a services capabilities to the scientific community and it is highly configurable including scheduling, networking and remote deployment and life cycle management of virtual machine. So Nimbus software consists of two basic product. So first is Nimbus infrastructure, second is Nimbus platform. So first is Nimbus infrastructure. So Nimbus infrastructure is an open source EC2 and S3 compatible IES model with features that benefit scientific community interest like support for auto configure, cluster, proxy credential, batch schedule, best effort allocation, etc. And second is Nimbus platform. So Nimbus platform is an integrated set of tools for a multi-cloud environment that automates and simplifies the work with infrastructure cloud means deployment, scaling and management of cloud resources for scientific. So this toolkit is compatible with Amazon network protocol via EC2 based client model and S3 based API client model as well as SOAP API and REST API that have been implemented in Nimbus software. So also it provides support for X509 credential, fast propagation, multiple protocol and any other type of compartmentalized dependencies. So Nimbus features flexible user and workspace management, request authentication and authorization and per client user tracking. So here I discuss about two major features of the Nimbus software. So first feature is Nimbus software open source IES means open source infrastructure as a service means Nimbus software provides a hundred percent free, uh, freely available and open source infrastructure as a service system. So every features our community develop is freely available. There are no add-on, no upgrade cost. So 
second is storage cloud services so storage cloud services that is compatible with the s3 model s3 means simple storage services and rest api model so it can be used against many existing client client to provide data storage and transfer services so next features of the nimbus software is remote development and life cycle management of virtual machine so nimbus software clients can deploy pause restart and shut down virtual machine as a remotely so on deployment the client present the workspace service with metadata and resource education so what is metadata metadata is the data about the data called is a metadata so resource allocation and resource allocation means deployment time cpu time memory etc should be assigned to the virtual machine and next features of the nimbus software is compatibility with amazon network protocol means ec2 based client written for ec2 can be used with nimbus installation and for use of s3 rest api client can also be used for managing virtual machine storage with the nimbus software and next features of the nimbus software easy to use cloud client easy to use cloud client means the workspace cloud client allow authorized client to access many workspace services features in user friendly way it is designed to get the users up and running in a matter of minute even from laptop net etc so cloud client is the easiest way to use both a storage cloud and a is cloud so next feature is flexible group management flexible group management means the workspace services can start and manage group of workspace at a time as well as group of group where each group virtual machine images resources allocation duration and node number can be different and next feature is one click clusters so one click cluster features provide a provide to the cloud client to launch the one click cluster whose node securely configurable themselves to operate in a new network and security environment so next and last features of nimbus software is workspace client workspace client means the workspace client allow authorized client to access all workspace service features the current release contain a java reference implementation so next topic of nimbus software is the component of nimbus software so the nimbus component are lightweight and self contained so that they can be selected and composed in a variety of ways so for example using the workspace services with the pilot will enable a different cluster integration strategy you can mix and match protocol implementation with the pure java software resource management module so writing a new component should be added a dropping of cluster so first component is a workspace services so allow client to manage and administer virtual machine by providing two interfaces one interface is based on the web service resource framework and the other is based on ec2 wsdl the service communicate with the workspace resource manager or a workspace pilot to manage so again i repeated them what is workspace service so the workspace service is a stand alone site virtual manager 
a virtual machine manager that different remote protocol front ends can invoke the current supported protocol means wsrf and ec2 happen to both be web services based and happen to both run in the apache software based java container so there is nothing specific to web services based remote protocol in the workspace service implementation the messaging system just need to be able to speak to java based libraries system so workspace service dependencies have nothing to do with what container it is running in they are normal java application dependency like spring backport util concurrent and jdbc software and next component is a workspace resource manager so workspace resource manager create a multiple virtual machine on a site and management and next component of nimbus software is workspace pilot so workspace pilot allow you to integrate virtual machine with resources already configured to manage job so the pilot is a program the service will submit to a local site resource manager in order to obtain time on the virtual machine monitor nodes when not allocated to the workspace service these node will be used for job as a normal conditions so next component is a workspace control component so workspace control component as a work uh, as a work such as a start any program stop any program and pause any program of the virtual machine it also provide image management and sets up network and provide ip assignment so you can you can say that the workspace control management isn't implement virtual machine monitor and network specific task on each hypervisor software so next component is a context broker so context broker allow clients coordinate large virtual cluster launches automatically and repeatedly and what is context and agent so context agent lives on a virtual machine and interact with the context broker at a virtual machine time of booting and next component is a workspace client so workspace client a complex client that provides full access to the workspace services functionality so next component is a cloud client component so cloud client component aim to get users up and running in minutes with instances launches and one click cluster even from laptop ya any other devices and you can use also any other laptop any other devices so next and last point and component of nimbus software is reference client so what is reference client so the reference client exposes all features of the wsrf front end as a command line client it is a relatively complex to use and thus typically wrapped by a task specific script so what is wsrf front end so wsrf front end means uh, means the protocol implementation in long standing used by previous workspace services and clients including the popular cloud client so a full protocol guide enumerating differences is forthcoming so what is ec2 front end so ec2 front end means the amazon elastic compute 
cloud web services description that allow you to use client developed for the real EC2 system against Nimbus based cloud software. So thank you student.